Look what came. Let me break down for you what Itty Bitty Toes is. This is for all my, my bougie mom yeah. girl batches. And it has a facelift. No, the facelift is for after quarantine. They're not doing no surgeries now. Itty Bitty Toes is like the bougiest, cutest, glamorous, glitziest dresses ever made for girls. But they're like a bazillion dollars. Then you follow them on social media and like they're always doing photo shoots and they're all happy and everybody's dressed up in like stiletto heel. And the owner, a grease, e grease, a grease, goals. She's about 90 pounds soaking wet and she runs an empire and you're like, but like, where do these people live? Who, how do these people exist? You know, and you're like, I just want to be like her and her people. And you follow them just to live in a fantasy world. You never can afford it. We can't afford a dress like this. But guess what I did? Because I bamboozled my husband. It was Mother's Day. My husband was napping. And Itty Bitty Toes was having a fell. 25% off. So I did one of these. Hey, babe. I knew it. He was screwed. Anyway, I got one, ladies. I got an Itty Bitty Toes dress. And the box so far does not disappoint. We gotta open it now. Ooh. Oh wait, oh wait, no, you don't open it back. You don't open it like that. Wait and do every little piece. This was a hundred dollars. This was a hundred more. Oh, it's so nice. The paper is like, isn't it gorgeous? Oh. It's gorgeous. <gasps> you ready? Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Sparkles. You like it? Yeah. You want to put it on? Yeah. Okay. So I would say the purchase was really more for me and the fact that I have an itty bitty toes dress in my closet, you know, for vain reasons only, only. Wait to see you for Christmas. Can anybody guess the theme to our Christmas photos? Sparkly. Okay. Cabral girls out.